Hello to everyone in the internet. Are you ready to hear some news that actually matters? Culture Shop. The only show on the internet that knows how to separate an issue of culture from an issue of politics. Alright, folks. So the opioid crisis has hit Canada. And it's hit them worse than the Spanish flu or AIDS epidemic ever did. Yeah. Worse than those even. Medicine. Bottles of poison. It's not a natural chemical. Don't take it. I don't care what condition you have. It's poison. Find a more natural way to fix it. Anyway, medicine, so-called medicine, is actually halting the ever-increasing life expectancy for First World Nations. This is not great. Ain't that wonderful? Yeah, it's obvious that they don't care about you. They only care. The thing they care about is money. And now they've hit Canada, and now Canada's suffering for it. The opioid crisis is manufactured. Companies have made it happen. Bunch of criminals selling us bottles of poison. Moving on. There is an LGBT migrant splinter group from the main migrant horde. They were the first to arrive in Tijuana. The, the only time that they were also uh, the first to anything. Now, what it's like to be an LGBT in South America, it's not pretty. Uh, harassment, threat of physical violence, prostitution, uh, lynching in the streets. To be anywhere in the third world as an LGBT is not a kind existence. And while it may be cruel, we can't support them. We've got our own problems. And those problems make it to where supporting them is going to end up hurting us more and make our own problems worse. We've got to draw the line somewhere. I say we draw the line <coughs> at our southern border. Yes, I sneezed. <clears throat> I would say they should probably try and settle for Mexico. They should consider set maybe settling for Mexico. Mexico could use a few more good workers. Of course, it would be entirely up to Mexico if that happened. There's been some possible yet to be confirmed uh, uh, acts of abuse against the LGBT section of the migrants such as denial of services, like showers and hotels, and food. And as I said earlier, they're also frequently last to everything. I, uh, I sympathize with their situation and I even pity them slightly, but uh, I'm sorry, you, uh, you can't come here. Go somewhere else. It's not because we're trying to be cruel or mean, it's just that you bring your problems here, our problems will become worse. Taking jobs away from our own native workers, well, you know, native, you know what I mean? People who were here, uh, people who were here before. white Europeans and Indians, basically, and blacks. So Hispanics, you know, not them, taking jobs from the Indians, uh, whites, and blacks, the people who actually uh, count as Americans, in, in my conception anyway. Uh, go home, South Americans, go home. 
or just go somewhere safe if it's too dangerous. Just don't come here. Because you're just going to end up taking our jobs, our food, and our government benefits. <clears throat> Moving on. A uh, company in Wisconsin has given guns to its employees as a Christmas gift. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's actually a company that develops bulletproof glass for law enforcement, as well as uh, bulletproof glass riot shields and stuff like that. And apparently they gave all their employees guns as a Christmas gift. S some turned it down and got gift cards instead. But a lot of these guns are something like $500. Someone chose cheaper firearms so they could acquire things like holsters and ammunition. They're doing it right, though, because they're also giving away free gun safety courses along with it. So that's perfect. They're not going to become shooters. They're going to become responsible citizens. Hold up that Second Amendment. Shall not be infringed, my friends. Moving on. <clears throat> so the smoke from the California wildfires has been spreading and has reached as far north as Vancouver, British Columbia, which is just a little north of where I live, in Washington. Well, actually, it's a lot north, but you know it had to pass through here. I've been looking online for air pollution warnings just to be safe. Uh, the smoke from California wildfires is also affecting Washington and Oregon. Right now, it's lowering our air quality to maybe we're still in the mild threat range. We're still in the yellow. We haven't reached orange. But it could get worse. I mean, it could get a lot worse. And there's an issue of whether or not you could accidentally end up mistaking smoke for fog. And not know. So you go out for like a walk in the early morning and start smoke inhalation. And the effects of smoke inhalation is it can exacerbate uh, people who have... Um, what you call it, uh, with the inhaler, you know, all, uh, asthma, they can set off their asthma, or if you got some kind of lung disease, prolonged exposure to smoke can cause things like COPD, that's why I'm, uh, against smoking, so yeah, I mean, California needs to get a handle on this nonsense, because it's affecting us, too. Honestly, we should take water here from Washington, like soak it up from a lake or a river or or from a rainfall, like the earlier rainfall we saw earlier today in my front yard, crazy. Take that, put it in like a water bomber, and take that up and then drop water bombs on California, on the fires, or use sand. They got plenty of sand, they could do that. So if you live in Washington, Oregon, and obviously Vancouver, B.C., uh, keep out for air pollution warnings. And maybe send help to California to deal with the situation, if you can. Send some volunteers. <clears throat> Moving on. Police on the lookout for a woman who assaulted a McDonald's manager for not giving her ketchup. Oh, yeah. Basically, they wouldn't give her ketchup for her meal, so she freaked out, acted like a toddler, attacked the the manager, and then the catch, and you know, and then, <laughs> and then they said she couldn't be in there anymore, so she left, and now the police are on the lookout for her, wherever she might be hiding. Ridiculous. Hope they find her and give her what for. It's probably a snowflake. <clears throat> But I don't know that. That's just my opinion. Moving on. Peter Gust. Peter Gust. A, uh, a photographer uh, was taking a photo of, of a large number of high school boys. It was their class. Their graduating class. And he told them to uh, wave at their family, right? But apparently he accidentally took the photo at the worst possible moment and made the boys waving look like Nazi salutes. 
Oh, the world we live in today where everything looks like Nazi salutes and everything is Nazi these days. Ugh. What a time for this to happen. And you know what's even sicker? The school actually plans to pursue charges against some of the boys anyway. Even though they confirmed by the guy's confession, a person who was literally there to see it, that they did nothing wrong. Yep. They have officially crossed that line. A victimless crime. Are you fucking kidding me? Public school is a literal piece of shit. It is government-run, government-owned, government-organized, and absolutely worthless. My time in public school, early on, sure, Early on when I was when I was little, it was good. But once I got into like middle school and high school, it was a fucking joke. I was literally above it. Homeschool your kids. Don't make the government do it. Or find a nice private school. Don't hand them over to the government. The government's just gonna fuck your kids up. I promise them they have a big old talk, a maybe even a big old rant about this on, on an episode of Culture Shock Aftershock, which will be now regularly uploaded on Saturday, so look forward to that. I know I am. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Moving on. The police are now claiming that Jamel Robertson was uh, decked out in all black with nothing to indicate he was a secure that he was a security officer, and that the officer, the offending officer, supposedly gave verbal commands, S several verbal commands, in spite of no corroboration for that claim. No one heard them say anything, and the fact that even his lawyer, his mother. Uh, and people there said that his uniform clearly said security. When did it become America's police policy to shoot first and ask questions later? Why is our police training in this country so bad and it's turning out killers? They're treating it on a blue, as a blue-on-blue blue, uh, shooting, which they should, but what they should not be doing is getting their officer off the hook they should be permanently kicking him from the service. Maybe putting him under house arrest, maybe even permanent house arrest. So he has to spend the rest of his life in his house, sitting there drinking beer. He's not never allowed to leave. Never to see the outside world again. Probably for the best. For the sake of the rest of us. Yeah, sickening. They're, this is just them covering their asses for doing something wrong. You know it is. Everyone knows it is. Anyway, folks, choose. Don't be a cop. <laughs>